lecture at Newcastle University in the politics department. I do my research on local content, focusing on Angola, Nigeria, uh, Ghana, and other countries in sub-Saharan Africa. And uh, mainly what I'm interested in is how you can use oil and gas resources for economic development. Over the last five years, uh, I've seen local content become more and more of a, a concern for the international oil industry. In the last year or two, with the, with the oil prices falling considerably, uh, their attention's been diverted a little bit, I think, from the issue of local content. But ultimately, it's a priority for countries that have these resources and, and want to see more benefit to their own citizens. So. I think uh, they're going to continue to, to pay attention and, and think of new ways that they can ensure there's a benefit to the, the countries they operate in. I mean, if properly implemented, the, the idea is that they would benefit, they would create jobs, and not just direct jobs in the oil industry, because the oil industry doesn't often involve that much direct employment but hopefully there'd be spin-off benefits that, that could employ a uh, number of people. In the communities that host uh, the oil extraction, it's sometimes difficult to see how they can fit into the petroleum value chain. And I think that's, that's been a challenge that uh, both governments and oil companies have to, have to continue working on because if people don't see that, they, that they're, they're benefiting, especially if they're seeing that there are there are costs uh, to their livelihoods from oil operations. Then they're gonna, they're gonna, do, you know, they're going to want uh, something done. My research focuses mostly on governments and what governments can do to increase the benefit from uh, their petroleum resources. And I think that governments probably play the the biggest uh, role and, and have to think of the ways that they can link their um, oil policy to their overall uh, economic development and industrial policy. So I've, I have a book that uh, I've written, it's going to come out next month actually, called The Petro-Developmental State in Africa. And it's really about what the government can do to uh, promote uh, um, development through their oil industries and link in industrial policies be more active in trying to increase the local benefit and local participation. Challenges mostly revolve around monitoring and implementing these policies once they're set. I think most governments uh, have come up with fairly good local content policies and most oil, uh, most oil companies have been good about uh, um, dialoguing with government and, and setting priorities and so on. But the, the challenge I find is it's, 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 it's much harder to implement these laws than it is to write really good laws. And so the next challenge will be trying to figure out how, uh, how we can ensure that there is a benefit and measure it year upon year uh, and, and, and sort of anticipate what the roadblocks are. Nigeria and Angola, the two countries that I have done most of my research on, started implementing uh, the current versions of their local content laws uh, around a decade ago. Um, there, are, since that time, they were they were in the past the only two uh, very large oil producing countries in Africa. But in the last five years or so, there's at least a dozen more countries that have discovered oil and gas and are, are, are trying to bring production on, on stream, right? So in the last year or two, uh, Tanzania, Liberia, Ghana, uh, Mozambique, Uganda, they're all coming and writing these local content laws now. So uh, they, they need to be thinking as well, well, what are the government agencies that are going to be making sure that, that this is implemented the way it's intended in the law, how are they going to measure what the, what the benefit has been, and, uh, and how can they learn from uh, what's come before, what people have done before. So I think there's a lot of learning that's, that's taking place in events like uh, this summit and that needs to, need to continue happening.